O holy and great archangel of God, Michael, who standeth as the first of the angels before the ineffable and supersubstantial trinity, who are placed as a watcher and keeper over the human race, who has with thine armies crushed the head of the proud Lucifer in the heavens and brought forever to shame his wickedness and treachery on earth. To thee we have recourse in faith, and thee we entreat with love. Be thou an indestructible shield and from rampart for the holy church and the orthodox Christians, guarding them by the lightning power of thy sword from all enemies, visible and invisible. Be thou a guardian angel, a wise counselor, and a companion of the Christian people, bringing them enlightenment, strength, joy, peace, and consolation. Be thou a leader and a companion in battle to those who strive for the orthodox faith, so that all who fight against us may know that God and his holy angels are with us. Forsake us not, O Archangel of God, with thy help and protection, and today glorify thy most holy name. For behold, even if we have sinned greatly, nevertheless we would not perish in our misdeeds, we rather turn to the Lord and be enlivened by him unto good works. Illumine our minds with the light of God, whichever shineth on thy light and like brow, that we may come to understand what the good and perfect will of God for us is, and know all that we must do, and all that we must despise and shun. Strengthened by the Lord's grace, are we cool and firm intentions, so that confirmed in the law of the Lord, we may cease to be cast about by worldly thoughts and lusts of the flesh, or like thoughtless children to be drawn by the perishing glamour of this world, lest by corruptible and earthly things we foolishly forget the eternal and the heavenly. And above all these things, us for us from on high, the spirit of true repentance, unfeigned sorrow before God, and contrition for our sins, so that we may spend the days that remain of this passing life, not in pleasing ourselves and serving our passions, but rather in effacing the evils that we have committed by tears of faith and heartfelt contrition, by striving for purity and the holy works of mercy. And when the time of our demise shall approach and never liberate from this body of clay, leave us not, O Archangel of God, without defense against the spirits of evil under heaven, who surround us to close all these sins on high for human souls, so that guarded by thee without stumbling we may attain unto those glorious habitations of paradise, where there is neither sadness, nor sigh of a life without end, and may be granted to see the life of the face of Barak, our Lord and Master, falling with tears at his feet, cried out in joy and gladness. Glory to thee, our most dear Redeemer, who for thy great love toward us and worthy ones has seen fit to send that angel as a minister of our salvation. Amen. Commanders of the heavenly hosts, we who are unworthy beseech you by your prayers and compass us beneath the wings of your material glory and faithfully preserve us who fall down and cry to you. Deliver us from all harm, for you are the commanders of the powers in high. Commanders of God's armies and ministers of the divine glory, princes of the body, the angels and guides of mankind, Ask for what is good for us, and for great mercy, supreme commanders of the bodiless host. Thy nativity, O Christ our God, has shown to the world the light of wisdom. For by it those who worship the stars were taught by a star to adore thee, the Son of righteousness, and to know thee. The Orient from on high, O Lord, glory be to thee. Today the Virgin gives birth to the transcendent one. The earth offers up a cave to the unapproachable one. Angels with shepherds glorify him. The wise men journey with a star. Since forsake the eternal God was born as a little child. Through faith he justified the forefathers, betrothing them through the church of the Gentiles. These saints exult in glory, for from their seed came forth the glorious fruit. She who bore you without seed, so by their prayers, O Christ God, have mercy on us. You did not worship the graven image, O thrice blessed ones, but armed with the immaterial essence of God. You were glorified in a trial by fire from the midst of unbearable flames. You called on God crying, hasten, O compassionate one, speedily come to our aid, for you were merciful and able to do as you will. Holy righteous David, pray to God for us. Proclaim the wonder of Joseph to David, the ancestor of God. 
You saw a virgin gray with child, you gave glory with the shepherds. You worshiped with the magi, you received the news from the angel. Pray to Christ, God to save our souls. Today, godly David is filled with joy, Joseph and James offer praise. The glorious crown of their kinship with Christ fills them with great joy. They sing praises to the one ineffably born on earth. And they cry out, O compassionate one, save those who honor you. Sing Mary Magdalene, pray to God for us. In keeping his commandments and laws, holy Mary Magdalene, you follow Christ who for our sake was born of a virgin. Let us celebrate your most holy memory today. We receive forgiveness of sins by your prayers. When God, who was transcendent in essence, came with flesh into the world, O murderer, he received you as a true disciple. For you turned all your love towards him. Henceforth you would yourself work many healings. Now that you have passed into heaven, never cease to intercede for the world. Standing before the cross of the Savior, suffering with the mother of the Lord, the most glorious Mary Magdalene offered praise with tears. She cried out, What is a strange wonder? He who holds the whole creation in his hand chooses to suffer. Glory unto your power. Saint John the Baptist, pray to God for us. The memory of the just is celebrated with hymns of praise. But the Lord's testimony is sufficient for you, a forerunner, since thou hast proved to be truly even more venerable than the prophets. Since thou hast granted to baptize in the ruddy waters in whom they proclaimed, wherefore having contested for that truth, Thou didst rejoice to announce the good tidings even to those in Hades, that God hath appeared in the flesh, taking away the sins of the world, and granting us great mercy. In the glorious beheading of the forerunner became an act of divine dispensation, for he preached to those in hell the coming of the Savior. Let her odious lament, for she entreated lawless murder, loving not the law of God nor eternal life, but that which is false and temporal. Saint Seraphim, pray to God for us. From the youth of love is Christ, O blessed one, and consume with burning zeal, and slaver for him alone in the desert. Absorbed and continuous toil and prayer, with humble heart chosen and beloved of the Theotokos, thou hast won the love of Christ. Wherefore we sing unto thee, save us by thy prayers, O Holy Father Seraphim. Leaving the beauty of the world and its corruption, thou didst hasten to the monastery of Sarah, the most venerable one. And there, having lived as an angel, thou becamest the path of salvation for many. For which cause Christ glorified thee, O Father Seraphim, with the gifts of healings and miracles. Therefore we sing unto thee, rejoice, O Seraphim, our venerable Father. Most holy Saint John Maximovich, pray to God for us. Lo, the giver, the flock, and his sojourn, prefigure the supplication which let us ever offer up for the whole world. Lest do we believe, having come to know thy love, O holy hierarch and wonder worker John, holy sanctified by God through the ministry of the all pure mysteries, and thyself ever strengthened thereby. 
Without his haste into the suffering, almost God's some healer. Hasten now also to the aid of us who honor thee with all of our heart. Lay heart of God out to all who entreat thee with love, the holy hierarch John, and who remember the struggle of thy whole industrious life and thy painless and easy repose. O faithful servant of the up-pure directress. Holy Saint Seraphim Rose, pray to God for us. Chosen vessel of Christ, blessed Father Seraphim, we offer to thee a song of thanksgiving and praise as we contemplate thy God-pleasing activity and sacrifice. As you now behold the risen Lord on his throne of glory, you intercede for our pitiful generation. Wherefore we sinners cry out, read our Holy Father, blessed Seraphim, radiant lamp of Christ, illuminating the last times. During the earthly sojourn, you traded the corruptible riches of a dying world for the inexpressible infinite riches of the heavenly King. Renouncing all ties to the earth, you sought to acquire the mind and faith of the Holy Fathers of the Holy Orthodox Church, and transmit this grace unto the salvation of many, honoring the exploits, we praise thee thusly. Read us, seeker of the truth above all else, read us, thou rejected the many temptations of the white path to perdition. Read us, thou confess the Lord Jesus Christ before the world, Readers, thou express the subtle snares of the enemy. Readers, thou sought the grace and illumination of the kingdom within. Readers, thou who ran as the created and sought the uncreated light. Readers, holy Father, blessed seraphim, radiant lamp of Christ, illuminating the last signs. Knowing the need to prepare the soul for death and repentance, you sought the teachings of the Holy Fathers on the soul's departure from this place of delusion and seeking forgiveness from Christ. We praise His mercy and sing Alleluia, Alleluia. Understanding that man must give an account of every thought, word, and deed, you warned a heedless generation of the judgment to come, and we trembling because of our sins, praise thee thusly. Rejoice, teacher of the true, rejoice, encouragement of the weak, rejoice, humbler of the proud, rejoice, call to repentance, rejoice, plead to the Theotokos, rejoice, prayers before the Trinity, rejoice, Holy Father, blessed Seraphim, radiant lamp of Christ, illuminating the last times. Seeing the world plunge further into madness and unbelief, you, you spoke of the impending judgment of God on the strained race of men. And we, terrified at our own lack of faith, sing unto God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Having love for all that is loved of Christ, you venerated His Holy Mother and sought her help in times of trial. And we, marveling at thy faith and long suffering, Cry out to the Mother of God. Rejoice, Holy Virgin, quick answer of prayers. Rejoice, protection of those that are afflicted. Rejoice, hope of the lost. Rejoice, balm of the wounded. Rejoice, Mother of all Christians. Rejoice, Helper, blessed Seraphim. Rejoice, Holy Father, blessed Seraphim Rose, the radiant lamp of Christ, illuminating the last times. Holy Saint Gerasimus, pray to God for us. O dweller of the desert, an angel in the body, you appear to us a wonder worker. O God bearing Father Gerasimus, by fasting, vigil, and prayer, you received heavenly gifts. Healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to you by faith. Glory to him who gave you strength. Glory to him who gave you a crown. Glory to him who through you gives healings to all. 
O oh, Father, you burn with heavenly love, referring the harshness of the Jordan Desert to all the delights of the world. Therefore, I will be submitted to you, even to your death. He died in obedience and grief on your grave. The Lord God glorified you. Now as we stand before him, O oh, Father, get us, he must ever be mindful of us. Holy Saint John of Kronstadt, pray to God for us. As a zealous advocate of the Orthodox faith, as a caring solicitor for the land of Russia, faithful to the world's and image of a pastor, preaching repentance and life in Christ, an awesome servant and a minister of God's sacraments, a daring intercessor for people's sake, O good and righteous Father John, healer and wonderful miracle worker, the praise of the town of Kronstadt, and decoration of our church, beseech thee, O merciful God, to reconcile the world and to save our souls. With the apostles, your message has gone out to the ends of the world, and with the confessors, you suffered for Christ. You are like the hierarchs of your preaching of the word. With the righteous, you are radiant with the grace of God. The Lord has exalted your humility above the heavens, and given us your name as a source of miracles. No wonder worker living in Christ forever. Have mercy on those beset by troubles. Yet hear us when we cry out in faith, O our beloved Shepherd John. This day the pastor of Kronstadt appears before the throne of God. Pray fervently on behalf of the faithful to the chief pastor Christ, who has promised, I will build my church, and the powers of death shall not prevail against it. Holy Saint Dimitri of Rostov, pray to God for us. O pillar of orthodoxy, you put Ochkism by its roots. Healer of Russia, new intercessor before God. How does you the minds of the foolish by their writings? Blessed Demetrius, heart by the Spirit, and true Christ God for the salvation of our souls. We bless Demetrius, the golden worded teacher. The Russian star shone forth from Kiev. And by way of the new northern city, reach Rostov, illuminating all the land with his teachings and miracles. For he wrote down all those things which are for edification. So that like Polly might win all for Christ and save our souls through the Orthodox faith. Holy Saint Ephraim, pray to God for us. By a flood of tears we made the desert fertile, and your longing for God but for fruits in abundance. By the radiance of miracles you illumine the whole universe. Our Father Ephraim, pray to Christ God who save our souls. Ever anticipating the hour of judgment, he lamented bitterly, venerable Ephraim. Through your deeds, you are a teacher by example. Therefore, universal Father, you rouse the slothful to repentance. Holy Saint Nicholas, pray to God for us. In truth, you were revealed to your flock as a rule of faith, an image of humility and a teacher of abstinence. Your humility exalted you, your poverty enriched you. Hierarch Father Nicholas, and treat Christ our God, that our souls may be saved. You revealed yourself, O Saint, and Mira as a priest, for you fulfilled the gospel of Christ by giving up your soul for your people and saving the innocent from death. Therefore you are blessed as will become wise in the grace of God. Holy Saint Anna, pray to God for us. O divinely wise Anna, you carried in your womb the pure mother of God, who gave life to our life. Therefore you are now carried joyfully to the inheritance of heaven, to the abode of those who rejoice in glory, where you seek forgiveness of sins, for those who faithfully honor you, ever blessed one. We celebrate the memory of the progenitors of Christ, and with faith we ask their help, that deliverance from every affliction be granted to those who cry out, Be with us, O God, who in your good pleasure glorified them. Holy great martyr and trophy bearer, Saint George, pray to God for us. 
You were bound for good deeds on water of Christ, George. By faith you conquered the torturous godlessness. You were offered as a sacrifice pleasing to God. Thus you received the crown of victory. Through your intercessions, forgiveness of sins is granted to all. God raised you as his own God and her own George. For you have gathered for yourself the sheaves of virtue. Having sown in tears, you now reap with joy. You shed your blood in combat and when Christ sets your ground. Through your intercessions, forgiveness of sins is granted to all. Holy, glorious Demetrius, the Mergusher of Thessalonica, pray to God for us. The world has found you to be a great defense against tribulation, and a vanquisher of heathen so passion bearer, as you bolster the courage of Master, who then help all the arrogance of us in battle. Holy Demetrius, entreat Christ God to grant us great mercy. God, who has given you invincible might, has tinged the church with streams of your blood, Demetrius. He preserves your city from harm, for you are its foundation. Holy great martyr, you stop the as pray to God for us. Your holy great martyr, you stop the as and his wife and sons, O Lord. Through their sufferings, I receive incorruptible crowns from you, our God. For having your strength, they lay low their adversaries and shatter the powerless boldness of demons. Through their intercessions, save our souls. Having they openly imitated the passion of Christ, and having eagerly drunk of his cup of Eustathias, you became a partaker and fellow heir of his glory, receiving divine forgiveness from on high from the God of all. Holy great martyr Marina, pray to God for us. Your name, Marina, goes out to you, Jesus, in a loud voice. I love you, my brother, man, and seeking you, I are suffering. In baptism, I was crucified so that I might reign in you. And I died so that I might live with you. Accept me as a pure sacrifice, for I have offered myself in love. Through your prayer, save our souls, since you are merciful. Adorned with the beauty of virginity, you have been crowned with unfading crowns, O Marina. Having shed your blood in holy martyrdom, and radiant with the miracles of healing, you have received from the hand of your Creator the prize of victory. Holy Saint Benedict, pray to God for us. By your ascetic labors, God-bearing Benedict, you were proven to be true to your name, for you were the son of benediction, and became a rule and model for all who emulate your life and cry. Glory to him who gave you strength. Glory to him who granted you a crown. Glory to him who through you grants healings to all. You were enriched with God's grace. Your works agreed with your name. O oh, Benedict, humble servant of Christ God, through prayer and fasting you were revealed to be filled with the gifts of the Spirit of God. You are a healer of the sick, the banisher of demons, and speedy defender of our souls. Venerable and god bearing Father Anthony, pray to God for us. You imitated the ways of zealous Elisha and followed the straight path of John the Baptist. You became a desert dweller and strengthened the world by your prayers. Father Anthony, intercede with Christ God that our souls may be saved. You rejected the tumult of this life and lived your life to the end in solitude, imitating the Baptist in every way. With him we honor you. Most Venerable Anthony, Foundation of the Fathers. Most Holy Saint Senia, pray to God for us. Having lived as a stranger in the world, you are with the divisor of evil. By your pretended foolishness, O Senia, 
You receive the grace from God to foresee and foretell things to come. Now as you have been translated from earth to heaven, you are numbered with the choirs of the angels. You gave your out to the poor Xenia and accepted poverty out of love for a price. Having lived a life reveling the angels, you were accounted worthy of glory on high. Holy Saint Phanutius, pray to God for us. A heavenly song of praise is chanted radiantly upon the earth. The company of angels all joyfully celebrates an earthly festival. And from on high with him say praise your contest. And from below the church proclaims the heavenly glory, which you have found by your labors and struggles. O glorious Phanurios, you saved the priests from an ungodly captivity and broke their bonds by divine power, a godly minded one. You bravely put to shame the audacity of the tyrants and they glad the orders of angels, O great martyr. Therefore we honor you, O divine warrior, glorious Phanurios. Praise God of mercy on St. Phanurios, his mother, and on St. Zinnia's husband, Andre. Venerable Hervin of Alaska, wonder worker of all America, pray to God for us. O joy upon our star of the Church of Christ, Guiding all men to the heavenly kingdom, teacher and apostle of the true faith, intercessor and defender of the oppressed, adornment of the Orthodox Church in America, blessed Father Herman of Alaska, pray to our Lord Jesus Christ for the salvation of our souls. O blessed Father Herman of Alaska, North Star of Christ's Holy Church, the light of your holy life and great deeds, guides those who follow the Orthodox way. Together we lift high the Holy Cross, you planted firmly in America. Let all behold and glorify Jesus Christ, singing his holy resurrection. The eternal light of Christ, our Savior, guided you, O blessed Father Herman, on your evangelical journey to America, proclaiming the gospel of peace. Now you stand before the throne of glory, and do see for your land and its people, peace for the world and salvation for our souls. Holy, blessed Matushka Olga, Pray to God for us. Our God who makes the moving curtain of the northern lights, made you as a living light, shining in the far north and lighting up the desolate with his great beauty. Beholding this radiance, we your children lift up our voices and sing. Rejoice, Matushka Olga, healer of the abused and broken. You labored in the far north as a new Tabitha, making clothes to shelter the poor from the cold and warming their souls with your love. We who endure the icy winds of this age also find shelter in your heavenly intercession and offer you these praises. Rejoice you that provided boots and parkas for the bodies of those in need. Rejoice you that still provide God's grace for the souls of the afflicted. Rejoice for your ceaseless labor clothed many throughout your village. Rejoice for your glorious praises are sung by many throughout the world. Rejoice strong consolation of peace for widows and orphans. Rejoice invincible tower of defense for the crushed and despairing. Rejoice haven of peace in the tumultuous world. Rejoice silent witness to the eternal world. Rejoice, Matushka Olga, healer of the abuse and broken. During your life, you gave away your children's clothing to the poor and taught them to preserve the dignity of the poor by not saying anything when they saw others wearing their clothes. Now that you stand before God, clothed in the vestments of glory, you cry aloud to him, Alleluia. Alleluia. You 
tutorial, cease to slay my tushko oga. Making traditional fur boots and pockets to raise funds for the needy throughout Alaska. So that your maternal care was felt by those far distant from you. We needy ones also cry out to you from all the ends of the earth, taking refuge and your maternal intercession and offering you these hymns. Rejoice, for the Lord has covered you with a robe of gladness. Rejoice, for the bargain adorns you with the jewels of his kingdom. Rejoice, you that clothe the poor children with the love of God. Rejoice, you that restore their dignity before the eyes of men. Rejoice, shining garment of our earthly vindication. Rejoice, radiant investment of our heavenly triumph. Rejoice, boast of the widows. Rejoice, song of the orphans. Rejoice, Matushka Olga, healer of the abused and broken. The old and ill found cause to praise you, Matushka Olga, for you visited them in their infirmity and in their housework when they could not, quietly serving the Lord through his people. Knowing that you continue to serve the Lord through your heavenly intercession, we lift up our prayers to you, singing aloud, Alleluia. Alleluia. Like your Lord before you, O blessed one, you girded yourself in the radiant garments of humility and washed the feet of your fellow servants and inherited the blessing he promised for those who follow him in humble service. Now that he has exalted you on high, you hear fervent praises. Rejoice that you that visited orphans and widows in their affliction. Rejoice you that kept yourself unstained from the world. Rejoice you whose labors refresh the hearts of the lowly. Rejoice you whose prayers lifted them up to God's throne. Rejoice never flagging zeal aglow with the Spirit. Rejoice never failing intercession serving the Lord. Rejoice for you never cease in your work of love. Rejoice for your toil always gave a, the weary new hope. Rejoice Matushka Olga, healer of the abused and broken. Holy Saint Nina, pray to God for us. O way made of the word of God, who when preaching equal the first called Apostle Andrew, and emulated the other apostles, and led to her of Iberia, and repipe of the Holy Spirit. Holy Nina, pray to Christ God, who save our souls. Let us sing praises to the chosen of Christ, equal to the apostles and preacher of God's word. The bearer of good tidings, you brought the people of Catalina to the path of life and truth. The disciple of the Mother of God, our zealous intercessor and unwearing guardian, the most praised Nina. Venerable Alexis, man of God, pray to God for us. You better from a famous and glorious root. You blast them from a royal and illustrious city, O supremely wise Alexis. You disdain everything on earth that's corruptible and fleeting. And you hasten to Christ the Master, always in freedom to save our souls. Today with hymns and praise, we celebrate the feast of Alexis the Blessed, and we cry aloud, Read us glass of adornment of the righteous. Most venerable Saint Gabriel of Georgia, pray to God for us. As the Master Christ it is divinity, clothed in an humanity and unseen by us, brought into being his ineffable glory. Likewise is I thy glory by means of foolishness, and by the wonder of thy confession, was shown forth as a shepherd of souls, O Venerable Father Gabriel, entry Christ God to have mercy on our souls. Immeasurable is the mercy of God, by whose goodness we behold his creation, given I so Venerable Father. Thou dost confirm in thyself the image of thy Creator, and exalted thy being to the likeness of God. Therefore we glorify thee, O Father Gabriel, for thou art worthy of all praise. Thou wast son of the trumpet of righteousness, a preacher of love and of a purity. And let all wondrous humility has opened to the world a treasury of wisdom. And now in heaven art thou, 
the advocate of God's mercy and our salvation. Venerable Moses, the Ethiopian, pray to God for us. You abandon the agents of the passions, O Father, ascending the mounts of the virtues with fervent faith, taking the cross of Christ upon your shoulders, and being glorified in godly works. You prove to be a model of monastics, the summit of the fathers. Pray unceasingly with them that our souls may find mercy. Your mind was filled with a holy inspiration from God, turning you from the lusts and pleasures of the flesh, bringing you to the height of the city of God. Holy Father Moses, intercede with Christ God that he may grant us great mercy. Holy Saint Mary of Egypt, pray to God for us. The image of God was truly preserved in you, Mother, for you took up the cross and followed Christ. By so doing, you taught us to disregard the flesh for it passes away, but to care instead for the soul since it is immortal. Therefore, your spirit, Holy Mother Mary, rejoices with the angels. Having been a sinful woman, you became the repentance of bride of Christ. Having attained angelic life, you defeated demons with the weapon of the cross. Therefore, most glorious Mary, you are a bride of the kingdom. Venerable Pelagia the penitent, pray to God for us. Like a fragrant rose growing from thorns, you are revealed to the church through your virtuous deeds, becoming a source of joy for the faithful. You offered your life in sweet smelling fragrance to him who made you wonderful. Entreat him to deliver us from every soul destroying passion, O righteous Pelagia. The image of God was truly preserved in you, O Mother, for you took up the cross and followed Christ. By so doing, you taught us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away. But to care and sever the soul, since it is immortal. Therefore, your spirit, venerable Pelagia, rejoices with the angels. You are at your body through fasting, vigils, and prayer, beseeching the Creator to completely forgive your deeds. You achieve this, Holy Mother Pelagia, thereby showing us the way to repentance. Holy Saint Matrona, pray to God for us. Chosen by the Holy Spirit of God from thy swaddling clothes, blessed honors Matrona, thou dost receive bodily infirmity and blindness from God for thy spiritual cleansing. Thou wast enriched with the gift of foresight and wonder working, and hast been adorned with an incorruptible crown from the Lord. Wherefore, in gratitude, we honor the offer under the crowns, rough and praises, crying out. Rejoice, righteous Mother Matrona, fervent intercessor before God for us. As an angel in the flesh, didst thou appear on earth, O blessed Matrona, fulfilling the will of God. Though born in bodily blindness, yet the Lord who maketh wise the blind and loveth the righteous, enlighten thy spiritual eyes, that thou mightest serve his people, and the works of God be made manifest through thee. Wherefore, with love we cry unto thee such things as these. Rejoice, chosen by God from infancy. Rejoice, thou that was covered by the grace of the Holy Spirit from thy cradle. Rejoice, thou that from childhood was enriched with the gift of miracles. Rejoice, thou that was filled with the wisdom from God on high. Rejoice, thou that didst foresee the will of God through thine spiritual eyes. Rejoice, thou that puttest to shame the wise of the sage that are blinded in mind. Rejoice, thou that leadest deluded souls unto God. Rejoice, thou that relievest from grief and from sorrow. Rejoice, righteous Mother Madrona, for an intercessor before God for us. When thou wast baptized, blessed one, the people and the priests beheld a wonderful pillar like smoke above thy head, and smelled a strong fragrance, astonished they wondered what this maid was destined to be, both singing unto God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Being enlightened
in the mind the priest of God Vasily discerned her whom he baptized to be a vessel of the grace of God and called the righteous Matrona holy maiden and her zeal we bring praises such as these Rejoice thou that was made fragrant in the Holy Father, the grace of the Holy Spirit. Rejoice with the sign of the cross imprinted on thy chest. Rejoice the prayerful one given to the people by God. Rejoice ever burning candles shining before the Lord. Rejoice thou that by the gift of miracles from God was famed upon her. Rejoice thou that by that unfading crown art crowned by the Lord in heaven. Rejoice herald to sinners of the mercies of God. Rejoice thou that from the source of living water does refresh the thirsty. Rejoice, righteous Mother Matrona, prevent an intercessor for us before God. As the divine living star, bless the Mother Matrona, that has shined forth in evil times. In the land of Russia, as a new confessor, and has bear the yoke of Christ boldly and fearlessly throughout thy life. And strengthened by the grace of God, who gave us enlightenment to the bewildered, relief to the suffering, and healing to the sick, who thankfully cried unto God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Seeing the miracles and healings given by thee through the grace of God, the lame walking, the paralytic and bedridden healed, evil spirits cast out of the possessed, many Russian people rushed to thee, Mother, as to a source inexhaustible, and drank from it profusely, and when tender heart cried out to thee thus. Rejoice, call to the right path from infancy. Rejoice, righteous one bestowed upon us by God. Rejoice, healer of our ailments. Rejoice, speedy helper in our needs. Rejoice, thou that enlightened us thus through thine inspired advice. Rejoice, quick resolver of our bewilderment. Rejoice, thou that drivest away unclean spirits from the people. Rejoice, thou that protectest from every evil by thy prayer. Rejoice, righteous Mother Matrona, for an intercessor for us before God. Holy Hierarchs, pray to God for us. Let all who love their words come together in honor with hymns. The three luminaries of the light creating trinity. Basil the great Gregory, the theologian, and renowned John of Golden Speech who have enlightened the world with the rays of their divine doctrines, and are mellifluous rivers of wisdom who have watered all creation with streams of divine knowledge. They ever intercede with the Holy Trinity for us. Thou hast taken the sacred and divinely inspired heralds, the crown of thy teachers, O Lord, for the enjoyment of thy blessings and for repose. For thou hast accepted their sufferings and labors above every burnt offering, O thou who alone dost glorify thy saints. Holy great martyr Catherine of Alexandria, pray to God for us. By your virtue, thus by rays of the sun, you light in the unbelieving philosophers, and like the most fervent, you drove away the darkness of disbelief from those walking in the night. You convince the queen and also chastise the tyrant. God summoned bright, blessed Catherine. You hasten with desire to the heavenly bridal chamber of the fairest bridegroom Christ. And you were crowned by him with a royal crown, standing before him with the angels. Pray for us who keep your most sacred memory. Let all of us who love to water the martyrs. Form a great choir of praise of the most wise Catherine, for she preached Christ and trampled the serpent, despising the knowledge of the orators. Venerable Sergius, the wonder worker, abbot of Radanesh, pray to God for us. A zealot of good deeds and a true warrior of Christ, our God. You struggle greatly against the passions and the spasming life. In songs and vigils and fasting, you were an image and example to your disciples. Thus the most Holy Spirit lived within you, and you were made beautiful by His working. Since you have great bonus before the Holy Trinity, remember the flock which you have wisely gathered, and do not forget to visit your children as you promised. Venerable Sergius, our Father, Found by the love of Christ, O venerable one, and following him with unwavering desire, 
you despise all carnal pleasures and he shone like the sun in your land. Therefore Christ has enriched you with the gift of miracles. Remember us who venerate your most holy memory and who call out to you, rejoice, Sergius, made wise by God. Venerable Romanus the Melodist, pray to God for us. You gladden Christ church by your melodies, like an inspired heavenly trumpet. You are enlightened by the mother of God, and shown on the world as God's poet. We lovingly honor you, righteous Romanus. You were adorned from childhood with the godly virtues of the Spirit. You were a precious adornment of the Church of Christ, always Romanus. For you made it lovely with beautiful hymnody. Therefore we entreat you, grant your divine gift to those who desire it, that we may cry out to you, Rejoice, O oh, blessed Father, beauty of the Church. Sing Cassie and the righteous hymnographer, pray to God for us. That which was created in the image of God was truly preserved in you, O oh Mother. For taking up the cross, you followed after Christ. By your deeds, you have taught us to reject the flesh. For it passes away, but to give her the soul is a thing immortal. Therefore, a venerable Cassie and your soul rejoices with the angels. Holy Mother John of Damascus, praise your God for us. Champion of orthodoxy, teacher of purity and of true worship. The enlightener of the universe and the adornment of hierarchs. Always, Father John, your teachings have gleam with light upon all things. And to see before Christ God, you save our souls. Let us sing praises to John, worthy of great honor. The composer of hymns, the star teacher of the church, the defender of our doctrines. Through the might of the Lord's cross, he overcame heretical error. And as a fervent intercessor before God, he entreats that forgiveness of sins may be granted to all. Holy Wonder Workers, Anna Mercenaries, Cosmos and Damien, pray to God for us. Holy and Mercenaries and Wonder Workers, Cosmos and Damien, heal our infirmities freely you have received, freely you give to us. Having received the grace of healing, you grant healing to those in need. Glorious wonder workers and healers, cosmos and Damien, visit us and put down the insolence of our enemies and bring healing to the world through your miracles. Holy great martyr and healer Pantalemon, pray to God for us. Holy passion bearer and healer Pantalemon, entreat the merciful God to grant our souls forgiveness of transgressions. You emulated the merciful one and received from him the grace of healing. Passion bearer and healer Pantalemon, by your prayers, hear our spiritual diseases and continually drive away the temptations of the enemy. From those who cry out in faith, save us, O Lord. Holy Apostle and Evangelist, look, pray to God for us. Let us praise the sacred songs, the Holy Apostle Luke, the recorder of the joyous gospel of Christ, and the scribe of the Acts of the Apostles. For his writings are a testimony of the Church of Christ. He is the physician of human weaknesses and infirmities. He heals the wounds of our souls and constantly intercedes for our salvation. Let us praise the godly Luke. He is a true preacher of piety, the orator of ineffable mysteries, and the star of the church. For the word who alone knows the hearts of men, chosen together with wise Paul to be a teacher of the Gentiles. Holy Saint Nicky Foros the leper, pray to God for us. 
All the angels were astonished by their struggles in the strict asceticism of the venerable Niki Forest the leper. For like another Joe patiently enduring his pain, he glorified God, who was crowned him out with glory, distinguishing him through miracles. Rejoice, instructor of monastics. Rejoice, beacon of light. Rejoice for a delightful fragrance pours forth from your relics. The valiant athlete of endurance and fortitude, the steadfast diamond of patience and long suffering, was tried by affliction and sickness. And in this way he glorified the Most High God. Let us extol and keep for us the leper, saying unto him, Rejoice, O namesake of victory. Holy Saint Fotini, pray to God for us. The Samaritan woman came to the well in faith. She saw you the water of wisdom and drank abundantly. She inherited the kingdom of high and is ever glorified. Holy Saint Paisios, pray to God for us. The offspring of Pharisa and the adornment of Athos, and the imitator of the former righteous equal in honor. O Paisios, let us honor, O faithful, the vessel full of graces, who so speedily to those who cry out, Glory to him who gave you strength, glory to him who grounds you, glory to him who through you grants healings for all. The most famous ascetic of the holy mountain and the newly enlightened light of the church. Let us praise him with hymns with all our heart, for he leads the faithful towards a perfect life, filling them with rivers of gifts. Therefore we cry out, Hail, O Father, by yours. Venerable Arsenius the Great, pray to God for us. By a flood of tears you made the desert fertile, and your longing for God but for fruits and abundance. By the radiance of miracles you illumine the whole universe. O our Holy Father, our sin, is pray to grace God you save our souls. Arising from Rome as a son, you reach the royal city, and lies in it, O most blessed one, by your words and deeds. You drove out the darkness of unreasoning. Therefore we honor you, Arsenius, the glory of the fathers. Venerable Bridget of Ireland, pray to God for us. O holy Bridget, you became sublime through your humility and flew on the wings of your longing for God when you arrived in the eternal city and appeared before your heavenly bridegroom. Wearing the crown of virginity, you kept your promise to remember those who have recourse to you. You shower grace upon the world and multiply miracles. Intercede with Christ our God that he may save our souls. The Holy Virgin, Bridget, full of divine wisdom, when with joy along the way of evangelical childhood, and with the grace of God, attain in this way the summit of virtue. She now bestows blessings upon those who come to her with faith. O Holy Virgin, and receive with Christ our God that he may have mercy on our souls. Saint Euphrosinus, the cook of Alexandria, pray to God for us. You lived in great humility, in labors of asceticism and impurity of soul. O righteous Euphrosinus, by a mystical vision you demonstrated most wonderfully the heavenly joy which you have found. Therefore make us worthy to be partakers of it also by our intercessions. Holy Saint Innocent Metropolitan of Moscow, Enlightener of the Aleuts, Apostle to the Americas, pray to God for us. Holy Father Innocent, in obedience to the will of God, 
You accepted dangers and tribulations, bringing many peoples to the knowledge of truth. You showed us the way. Now by your prayers, help lead us into the kingdom of heaven. You evangelized the northern people of America and Asia, proclaiming the gospel of Christ to the natives in their own tongues. Holy Hierarch, Father innocent, enlightener of Alaska and all America, your ways were ordered by the Lord. Pray to him for the salvation of our souls in his heavenly kingdom. A true celebration of the providence and grace of God is your life, O Holy Father, innocent apostle to our land. In hardships and dangers, you toil for the gospel's sake, and God delivered and preserved you unharmed. From obscurity, highly exalted you as an example that the Lord truly guides a man in the way he should go. Equals of the apostles and teachers of the Slavs, Cyril and Methodius, pray to God for us. Divinely wise Cyril and Methodius, equal to the apostles and teachers of the Slavs, entreat the master of all to strengthen all nations in orthodoxy and unity of mind, to grant peace to the world and to save our souls. Let us honor the sacred prayer who translated divine scripture, pouring for the fountain of divine knowledge from which we still draw today. Now as you stand before the throne of the Most High, we call you blessed Sarah and Methodius, as you fervently pray for our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, bless all the Lord.